Hello everyone, hello from Mr Smith and hello from the Flying Hippo. So it's quite complicated today so you might have to really concentrate and perhaps even pause the video or ask to work with uh, somebody in your family or ask a teacher or an adult to help you or another student. So what we're going to try and do, you can see the bubbling purple potion there, is we're going to try and get the hippo to collect the three items and then they will magically fly over to the potion pot and then they'll disappear so that it looks as if they're falling inside. So let's make a start. So the first thing we have to do is find out the position of the potion pot and the easiest way to do it is to actually move one of the items. So I'm going to move the crystal um, just over the top of the potion pot. And then down the bottom it gives a number. So 245 and 44. Now you can actually make them a bit easier so I'm just going to make that 40 and 205 I'm going to make 200. Now the crystal will move a bit, but it's roughly in the same position. So I can remember those now. So X is 200 and Y is 40. So you might want to write those down. So I'm just going to move that back. So we've got to remember that. So when the hippo touches the crystal, the crystal's going to move. So we're going to have to program the crystal. So we're going to use some code down the left hand side. And what we want to happen is we want when the green flag starts, like we start the game, we're going to check every single second or even quicker than that, so every microsecond to see whether the hippo is touching it. So the, the one for the touching is called sensing. So if the crystal is touching the hippo. Now we're going to have to say if. So that's like a question. So that's called, that's in the events I think. No. Oh yes, it's in control. So notice you can scroll down here and you get to the next color. So if touching the hippo, we want it to glide over. So glide is in the top one, motion. So we want it to glide over to, and you've got to try and remember those numbers, 240 I think it was, and I think it was 40. No, I might be wrong, maybe it was just 200, yeah. Now these are called variables, so you've got to try and remember that. And they can be changed, so even if it goes wrong it doesn't matter, and we can actually check by just moving the crystal over. Yeah, I got it right, I remembered it. And then the last bit we want to do is we want to say, at the beginning of the game, before we check, we want it to go back to the position it's in at the moment. <gasps> oh no, I've forgotten something. But I tell you what, let's... Let's try and work out what Mr. Smith's forgotten. So we'll, we'll actually run the game now. So click on the green flag and then we'll head into the crystal. <gasps> yes, it worked. Cool, I'm so excited. So we're going to try and debug the code now because um, we, want the, we want it to look as if the crystal has gone into the potion. So think about how we might do that. Well, 
Or what we could do is we could make it disappear. So we've got to go to looks and hide. And we put that in there. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of help because when we restart the game, we want the crystal to show. So I'm going to put that in there. Now I'm just going to zoom in so you can see that. Now that's very complicated coding. So you might need to do it a few times and perhaps even make some notes. So the important thing is we've got that loop. It's going to keep checking to see if the hippos touch in the crystal. And the last thing we need to do is we need to test it to see if it works. So let's test our game. So I'm going to click the background. <gasps> yes, I'm so happy. And then what you would do is you would do the same thing for the potion and the jar. Now I've got a little trick that you can do. Rather than um, actually doing the code three more times, you can actually drag that to the right. These are called sprites. I'm going to put it on the the, the green potion. But you will, and it should copy it. <laughs> yes, it's copied it. But you will need to change this number to where the potion is at the moment. So to do that, I'll just remind you, I'll make it bigger. Oh, I can't make it bigger because I can't see the numbers. Um, I'm going to look at those numbers. So minus 105 and 36. Minus 105 and 36. And then a final thing is we'll just test it with the potion. So let's get ready. Click on the start. Right, we'll go to the crystal first. <gasps> yes. Then go to the potion. Yes. So I'm really happy. Now what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this apart and then save it. So you've got to put it together yourselves. And then you've got to, it's like a jigsaw. You've got to put the jigsaw back together. So have fun. Bye.